Welcome back to The Randomizer, the series where I play three games, doesn't matter what kind of games they are, as long as they're free, that's the only real criteria they have to meet. So, I haven't done uh, an episode of this in a little while, I think the last one I did was back in October, and the only real reason I stopped doing these videos for a while is because I didn't have any recording software to edit videos with for a couple months, because I already told you guys that I was using my old laptop to uh, edit videos still, but that thing broke down finally, so I didn't really have uh, anything to edit videos with for a little while. I couldn't install my uh, copy of Sony Vegas onto this laptop because it wouldn't let me for some reason. Uh, by the way, uh, I just want to give you guys a quick update on that. I do have some new editing software now. It's not Adobe Premiere though, it's actually a newer version of Vegas. It's uh, Vegas 14 specifically. I noticed that Humble Bundle was selling Vegas 14 for just $20, and I thought, you know what, that honestly sounds like a much better deal than than getting Adobe Premiere, so I decided to settle with that for now, so I'll at least be able to get back to editing my videos, and I'll be working with something that I'm familiar with, or I familiarize myself with, because I've been using it for so long. If I had no method for editing videos, then this series probably wouldn't be possible anyway, so hopefully my uploading schedule can get back to, uh, you know, it, its normal routine, like daily uploads, or at least I'm going to try. Uh, I have been thrown out of the loop a little bit because of the long break that I took in November, because I didn't want to put out any videos that I... I couldn't edit, but I still did anyway because I didn't think it was fair to you guys, like just just deciding not to make videos for like almost two months just because I had no way to edit videos. I just I just didn't think it was fair to you guys. That's why I still chose to keep putting out videos anyway. I just thought, you know, I'll just I'll just revert to my old style of making videos where I just record a video, then upload the raw footage to YouTube. But Thankfully, I don't have to do that anymore, because I got some new editing software, and yes, it's not the greatest, I know people always make fun of Vegas, and, you know, they always make fun of how terrible it is, but... I, I don't give a crap, okay? It was $20, I thought, you know what, it, it's normally 400 so it's pretty much a steal at that price. I just decided to go with it for now. Maybe sometime in the future I'll finally stop being cheap and upgrade to Adobe Premiere, but for now, I'm fine with what I have. So, the first game that we're gonna be playing today, the game is uh, called Knockbots. This was something that I discovered on itch.io. It did appear on the most popular free game section which is where I normally find a lot of these itch.io games anyway. So, this game is still in extremely early development, and it is actually kind of buggy as a result. As a matter of fact, uh, some of these options right here are missing. You notice that uh, some of them are highlighted in red. That means they're not in the game yet. There's no campaign. As a matter of fact, there's not even an options menu. There's only a very simple battle mode right here, but the game's premise is interesting. So basically, you play as a robot, and you have to knock out other robots in an arena by launching your boxing glove at them, and it just uh, destroys them in one hit. I'm not entirely sure how you're supposed to win a battle. Like, I don't know how many points you have to score in order for you to be the victor, and I've had some instances where battle mode just completely broke on me, and I had to restart it altogether. Uh, you can press the R key to restart a battle, so I'll just show you guys this uh, right away. You'll also notice that this says temporary select screen, so this game is uh, not finished yet. It's still uh, very, very early in development. And not only that, but you can't even tell which robot you're selecting on this screen. You do have different uh, boxing gloves right here. You can choose a yellow, green, red, or blue robot. I have no idea what I'm selecting, but apparently I'm selecting the blue guy, so... Fine, we'll, we'll go with him then in that case. So then you get into the arena right here. I, I do like how it's how it's kind of in like an anime style. You have this this timer, this like anime timer that just uh, counts counts down, tells you the battle is gonna gonna begin. So you need to have uh, spatial awareness in in order to be good at this game because as you can see, there's just like punching gloves flying everywhere. So you have to be aware of uh, where the boxing gloves are going. But basically, if your boxing glove touches the other robots, then they die instantly, and that's pretty much it. That's pretty much all there is to it. See, I wasn't paying attention there, I didn't even see what hit me. 
so my my head just kind of just kind of gets gets blown off. So it's kind of kind of gory. Got got quite a bit of robot gore going on in here. Also, I do think it is possible to kill yourself with your own boxing glove. As a matter of fact, can I? Yeah. <laughs> I just I just wanted to. I did that on purpose just so I could test it out. So I could I could prove to myself that I wasn't lying about that. And and also you guys. And okay, I didn't even know what he got killed by there. I don't think anything even even hit him. So, this is pretty much uh, all you can do in the game right now, in the current state that it is. There is this little crown above uh, the head of the robot that's currently winning. Wow, I just, I just like, ran right into that. Holy crap. Yeah, so I'm, I'm pretty, pretty darn bad at this. Yeah, and because there's no options menu, I can't actually make the game look uh, nicer than it, than it currently looks. I don't know, there's there's no shadows at all, so everything looks pretty plain. Like like the, the colors look very plain. So not not that much realism going on in here. Oh wait, I did actually get a point. Wait, when 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 exactly did I did I did I win a battle? Because I have no idea Whoa, hello? Hello Susan, how are how are you? I haven't seen you in quite a while. That that guy just launched like ten boxing gloves at me. What even was that? I have never seen that before. I mean, I was only playing the game off screen for maybe two or three minutes, so obviously I wouldn't have. You can also stop their uh, boxing gloves as well. Like, uh, if your boxing glove collides with another one, you can actually stop it uh, in midair. So I guess that's kind of like a, a method of blocking. So that's pretty darn cool, I guess. I'm not really sure how you can even like outrun the boxing gloves. The only way you can really dodge them is to like is to just juke is just try and try and juke them as fast as you possibly can i am doing horrible right now because i am only like one point everyone else has like four and five okay hang on i'm pretty sure i just i'm pretty sure my own glove like came back around and just knocked me right in the butt oh, okay. oh wow <laughs> i'm just i'm just horrible I'm just horrible, like I, like I normally am. I don't even know how I how I didn't die there because I just walked right into the war zone. Okay, it is it is kind of hard to, yeah. See, he just what did he get killed by? I didn't even see. It is kind of hard to control your glove. I will I will admit, it's it's really hard to steer it because it's moving so quickly. And sometimes I feel like the controls don't even work. Sometimes, yeah. Why does the yellow guy keep dying for no reason? Like I'm not even sure. I'm not sure what he's getting hit by, because I'm pretty sure he's not getting hit by anything. He's just, like, committing suicide for some reason. It's like he doesn't want to be involved in this in this match anymore. And I don't I don't see why you wouldn't want to. I mean you're not you're not doing so bad. Okay, that time he he murdered himself. I saw that, because it came back around and punched him right in the face. So I saw that. Wow. And I was standing right in front of him when he did that too. Yeah, so, I, I really don't know how many points you have to score in order to win the game. Yeah, see, and sometimes this will happen, where the screen will just go black for no apparent reason. And I'm not really sure why that happens, but when that does happen, like I said, you just press the R key in order to restart the match. But the only problem is that that resets all your points. So, I'm not sure if it's even possible to really win a match in this game right now, considering... The battle mode seems to be, like, really broken right now. Sometimes the screen can just disappear and you're left with an empty black void. And since your score gets reset, you have to earn all these points all over again, so... I'm not really sure, but I mean, I do like the concept, though. I do like the concept, it's still pretty cool, and I still wanted to show it off to you guys anyway. But, uh... You, you can tell that this game is still very early in development. Obviously, there's a lot more work that, that needs to be put into it, but I guess you could consider it a tech demo for now. And uh, that's pretty much the whole game, so I think this is actually where I am going to stop and just move on to the next one now. So, if you guys want to download it and play it in its extremely early stages of development, uh, link's in the description. So, that's pretty much all I have to say about that. Also, when you press the escape key, it just closes the game entirely, so there's not even a, a pause menu, I don't think. So, yeah. A lot of features missing right now, but if you want to try out the very early tech demo, link's in the description, and go have, go have fun with it for a few minutes. 
and then probably never play it again at least until the full version comes out. So the next game I have here is called FFX Runner HD. Now this one is interesting in particular because this is supposed to be like a remaster of a game that I played a couple of years ago on my channel called On The Run. Now On The Run was a game that I used to play a lot on miniclip when I was really young. I think when I was in like elementary school. On the Run was a uh, a game that came out back in 2004. You could only play it in your browser from what I can remember because you couldn't download it anywhere. But it was a pretty popular game back in the day. But the thing is, most websites don't support Adobe Shockwave anymore, or most browsers don't, because it's really old and outdated. A very old and outdated engine, but apparently the original people, like the original developers of On The Run, Officine Pixel, are trying to recreate the game on a new engine? So, yeah, when I saw this on itch.io, because I also found this on itch as well, I was... Intrigued to say the least because on the run was a game. I used to play almost all the time on mini clip So we're going to try this out here. I already uh, chose my car here This is the classic one classic one from on the run and we're just going to try this out and play it because I'm just really interested in this I had no idea they were even still making games uh, Much less trying to create like a remaster of on the run So we're gonna play this for a little bit and see how it how it is. Oh my god, okay. I mean, it looks very similar to the original on the run. Yeah, still as speedy as the original as well. You also get some money. So, essentially, the uh, premise of the original on the run was that there's these people called the corporation who are trying to punch you down. And uh, they are extremely bad at driving, as I pointed out in uh, the videos that I made of on the run. I didn't just make one video of it. Like, I played every single on the run game in existence, like On The Run 1, 2, Vegas, and Getaway, which I wasn't even going to do. Well, actually, I played the mobile game as well. That's kind of the uh, ironic thing. The mobile game is actually playable on Miniclip, so technically it's, it's available on PC as well, but it's essentially a mobile port. So, in the original, I do believe you were collecting Miniclip points? Like, you were collecting what are essentially these little blue bubbles right here, but they had the Miniclip logo in them. And I believe you could get points by doing that. So, I mean, yeah, it seems to be like almost a, an exact recreation of On The Run. This is actually pretty cool. And it has been a while since I just played On The Run in general, because the last time I made a video of this was almost three years ago, and I think I just exploded. Car broken. Try again. Oh, okay. The new episode is coming. Yeah, I don't, I don't really care. Just let me back into the game, please. Oh, so they, they didn't... They didn't reanimate the explosion? Like that classic pixelated explosion that would happen when your car got terminally damaged? No, it just seems like it smokes now, like the engine blows. Okay, something weird is going on with the physics as well. Get these cars out of here, oh my god, yep. Physics are still as wonky as always. They even managed to emulate the extremely uh, wonky physics here too. Okay. I mean... I, I don't really know what else to, to say about it, guys. I mean, I already I already expressed my opinions on, on what I thought about On The Run in the original video I made of it. It does appear to be the exact same map as well, actually. Albeit a few differences, because I don't exactly remember this section at all. Is there the uh, section with the- oh my god! <laughs> There's cars falling out of the sky. Yeah, this, this section over here. Yeah, this is still in the game, so they, they ported this over as well. It's so cool because it's like, they even have the old uh, 3D Pinball for Windows sound effects as well. Yeah, they, they still decided to steal those sound effects from Microsoft. That's that's amazing. Or Maxis, because those were the people who, who developed it. Well, actually, who, de who developed 3D Pinball for Windows? Because I know it wasn't Microsoft. I, I don't remember. But but either way, they're, they're stealing sound effects from other games, so it's, it's not exactly a good thing. Yeah, nothing has shadows. Oh my god, dude, this car is sliding around like it's on ice. What is what is happening here? Um, yeah, I mean, it's it's on the run. I don't know why there's race cars here. What the heck is this? Okay, let's try and break physics then. Let's disappoint Isaac Newton like we did, like we did in the original. Here we go. Oh my god, I'm getting some speed right here. Blast off. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, there's no explosion anymore. Aw, that's disappointing. There are a few more cars that you can uh, unlock here. Actually, we can sell our car here in order to buy a new one. Yeah, just like little 
three-wheeled truck. I don't even know what the heck this is. That is, that is cool, though, because it does seem like they are adding new content, though, because I noticed there are multiple vehicles you can choose from now. So let me just try out, like, this little... I, I don't even know what they're called. I do know they have a name. This particular kind of truck that has only, like, three wheels, but I don't remember what they're called. Oh, jeez. Oh, wow. This thing is not speedy in the slightest. I'm almost dead, actually. I just realized. <laughs> oh, man. Why, why would I ever want to play the game like this? I mean, I got the repair at least. There we go. You just go flying into the stratosphere. I, I need to stop using that joke. Holy crap. Here, get this. Why is there just a random monster truck parked here? Let's get that out of the way. Pretty sure that's not street legal. You guys go and, go and arrest that guy instead, because I'm pretty sure he's breaking the law. Not me. I'm just trying to obey traffic laws, see? I'm, I'm just trying to stay in one lane here, okay? I know how to drive. I'm a good boy. Here, I'm gonna actually stop at the intersection. Okay, well, you didn't really let me stop. Well, that's just that's just it for that. <laughs> okay, well, that's this is still pretty cool though. It's like it's it's pretty much a direct recreation of this. What is this actually? Oh, there's a shop now. Buy intercooler, increase velocity, inter injectors, bigger fuel tank, additional fuel tank. What are anti-intrusion bars? Well, I didn't I didn't want to buy it, but I guess I I'm going to use it anyway. <laughs> Okay, just just one more time here. Yeah, because there's now upgrades you can you can purchase and everything else. This is pretty cool. I actually really like this. I mean, the game still looks outdated like it was made in 2004. In fact, it it almost looked like it runs on the exact same engine even though I know for a fact it doesn't. Or does this run on Shockwave? I have no idea. But it looks so similar to the original. I'm really surprised. Wow, I'm dead already. Okay, well, I guess if you're gonna play this game, uh, don't purchase this shitty little truck then, because it's it's really not worth the eight hundred dollars. You'll just die like instantly, like they just nudge you and you'll you'll explode into a million pieces. Okay, that's pretty cool though. There's even controller support as well. I like this, even though it still looks extremely primitive and outdated. I think I'm still gonna play this a lot more off screen because I'm surprised this even exists. Oh, there's even top tens. Oh yeah, you, you still use Comic Sans in 2017. Wow, professionalism at its finest. And the last game I have here today is called Meshball. Now, this game's premise really piqued my interest, so it's basically like a, a mini sports game with a pretty cool concept. I, I really don't know how to explain it to you guys, so I'm just going to uh, show this to you here. So we're just going to go to one versus one, and we're gonna start playing. So essentially the way this game works is that you control this little hand right here, and you have all of these balls. And when you move your hand around, as you can see, you can actually terraform the landscape, so you can make like little mountains and hills right here. I don't think uh, the other player is computer controlled, because I, I do believe this is meant to be like just a local multiplayer game, so I don't think uh, the other player is computer controlled. I can control the other guy with the WASD keys. So essentially what you're doing here is terraforming the landscape and trying to make these little mountains and hills in order to get all of these balls onto your side of the field. There is this little lion in the center right here. You have to try and get the balls to cross that line in order to get them on your side. So you're essentially competing to get the most balls into your corner of the field. And yeah, it's just, this is like really cool. This is just really cool. It's like you're just kind of waving your hand over the land, and it's just it's just rising up like you are you are literally God. I, I don't even I don't even know how to how to describe it. I'm not even sure who won there. I, I assuming the the pink guy did. Okay, yeah, because I'm just playing with myself. Actually, there is a two versus two mode, but I'll try that out in just a moment here. Here, we'll try and uh, try and, and do this correctly here. Make it look like I'm actually competing against someone, even though I'm not. I'm actually competing against myself here, because I'm controlling both hands. But yeah, I just wanted to show you guys this one in particular, because I really like the concept for this. So much, in fact, that I almost wish this was like an actual game. Like, this was a fully-fledged product that I could buy on Steam. Also kind of wish, like, this was actually like a real mini-sports game that you could buy. I mean, could, could you imagine that? Like, you just, you, you wave your hand, over, over like the flat terrain, and and it 
your hand acts like a magnet, so it gets pulled up towards you and you create, create all these mountains. Of course, they they do drop uh, a little after a, a little while. Like they don't they don't stay there. They're not permanent. But wouldn't that wouldn't that be a really cool like little little sports game to play? Like that was this is this is I, I don't even know how to describe it. Like this is just blowing my mind. And I I know it looks so simple, but still like I'm I'm just like in love with this and in, in love with the concept at the very least. I mean the game is extremely simple here, but this is. One of the most unique concepts I've seen for a game, honestly. What is the 2 versus 2 mode? Am I controlling both hands? Okay, no, I'm not controlling both hands. How do I control the other ones? Uh... I'm not quite sure. I'm afraid to try out the other controls because I'm recording. Oh, wait. J, I, K, and L? Oh, jeez. Okay, yeah, this is gonna be a, a nightmare to control because if, if I have to do all of them... If I have to move all of them around... Okay, yeah, that's like that's like pretty much impossible. I'm I'm not comfortable with that. Let's just get out of there and go back to one versus one. But yeah, this is this is actually pretty cool. I mean, I don't have anyone anyone to play with, not because I have no friends, but you know, it, it's really late at night, and I I don't feel like calling anyone at like 11:30 at night and say, hey, you want to you want to you want to play this this weird little game I found on the internet with me? Like, no, I don't think they'd be willing to do that. Let's see what sort of like terraform creations I can make here by moving both of the hands around. Yeah, like, look at that. This looks like, this looks like natural terrain right here. Look at that. Oh, I just, I love this. This could also make for, like, a really interesting god game as well, I feel. Also, this game's original title was apparently Waveball 3D, according to, uh, the game's window name. So I guess, I guess it was changed, because it was called Mesh Ball when I found it. Also, I don't know why the, the balls just, like, bounce around constantly, or at least some of them do. Not really sure what's, what's going on with the physics there, but, yeah. Just really neat, really neat concept for, for a, a local multiplayer game. And if you have another friend, then I would highly recommend trying this out, because this is just, this is just neat. This is really neat. Anyway, um, that's gonna do it. I'm just going to, uh, get out of the game there, because that's, that's pretty much it, guys. That's all I have to say about it. So, those are the three games that I had for you guys today. So, Knockbots, FFX Runner HD, and Meshball. Again, all of them do have really cool concepts. Meshball is probably my most favorite, and I also like the way that the terrain just, like, dances to the music in the main menu. I really like the way this looks here. Oh, okay, so when I when I press reset, that just resets the score. And these are the people who made it, I believe. Yes, indeed. Made in Germany, and these were... This was the actual guy who made it. And also, the I believe, the guy who produced the music. So, here we go. There's the creators. Go and support them if you want. All of these games are free, but you can pay a small price for them. If you wish to uh, support the developers, of course, and help them out so they can continue developing more games. All of the links are in the description. All of these are available on itch.io. And yeah, play, play Meshball. Play, play Meshball, for, for sure. Like, if you have a friend, go, go play Meshball with them right now, because this is, this is the neatest freaking local multiplayer game I've ever seen. Here, let's, let's, let's hold hands. Let's, let's hold hands. Can, can we even hold hands? I mean, I can't really, I don't really have control of the camera, because it just moves on its own. Here, come, come over here. There we go. Unity! Our hands become one. Anyway, thank you guys for watching, as always, and I will see you in the next video I make. Later!